What value is there in speaking about God in Jesus? Today we're in 1 Thessalonians 2, verses 4 to 9. Let's read it. But just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel, so we speak, not as pleasing men, but God who examines our hearts. For we never came with flattering speech, as you know, nor with a pretext for greed, God is witness, nor did we seek glory from men, either from you or from others, even though as apostles of Christ we might have asserted our authority, but we proved to be gentle among you as a nursing mother tenderly cares for her own children, having so fond an affection for you that we were well pleased to impart to you not only the gospel of God, but also our own lives, because you had become very dear to us. We use the voice to transmit a message, and so words become very important to us. And Paul used the word, his words, to transmit the message of Scripture to his hearers. Paul reminds his readers that he spoke truth and that the truth cut. There was no flattering, no self-congratulation, just the straight truth and hearts responding to that truth. There were no claims of entitlement because, after all, you know, Paul was a true apostle, but no, he didn't make those kinds of claims. They just taught a faithful message, and God blessed it. They spoke at risk to themselves, and they behaved humbly. So we might say there was a method and a message both, and who could criticize their humility? And what about the message? It was a strong message, as we said before. It was, it was demanding. It demanded a change of, of lifestyle. But it, it was received. Some of our workers today think that the message should be very smooth, very easy to receive, that I guess that it should just kind of be an echo out of what the secular left has and, and just come to us and we can just echo what they're doing but say it a little bit nicer. The source of our message is not the secular left. It's not, it's not the secular anything. The source of our message is, is the Word of God. Is our message just whatever the latest thing that comes tweeted over the uh, Twitter or from Facebook or, or whatever? Social media, is that our latest thing? We just take the latest message? No. The latest message is the message we were given 2,000 years ago in the Bible. Christians should not be waiting in line to get our, our marching orders from the latest thing that comes off of your cell phone. We get our marching orders right here. So... We need to do it like Paul did it, and the Lord will bless that. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, help us to be faithful messengers, and that means starting at the place where we get the faithful message, and that's not going to just randomly emanate to us out of the latest thing coming across the cell phone network, Lord. It's going to come from your word. Help us to be people who are in the Bible. The word is not an old word. It's a current word. Help our message to be strong and help our church to grow today like it used to 2,000 years ago. Bless us by helping us be faithful. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So let's be faithful and work. And I'm not afraid of that word work. No, we're not working for our salvation, but there's a lot of soul-winning work to be done. So let's be about that. That'll, that'll please our Lord Jesus and mean more souls in heaven. Feel free to put a comment in down below. I'd like, I'd like to see what you have to say. Tell me about your church. God be with you today as you serve the Lord Jesus.